All right, take 53. What's poppin' fam? My name is Brennan Myers, and today we're with Caesar Sosa, the Planch King, AKA Demonstration King. Say what up. What up? Okay, we're not gonna do that again. No. Anyways, if you wanna subscribe to my new daily vlog channel, go ahead, put your arm up right up there. The card, click it, and subscribe. Daily vlogs, like I said. Also, April 15th, the apparel, I believe in you. Make it count, driven. The hats, the joggers, they all come out this weekend. And now, to the video. We're gonna be debunking the 500 push-up a day myth why? Because I see it time and time again, everyone doing as many push-ups a day just to get stronger and more powerful. Well, that is actually wrong. And I'll tell you why in just three, two, one. All right, so to start off this video, let's start talking about push. Caesar, what are you doing, bro? Uh, 500. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in, all, in, all, in all seriousness, in all seriousness. The 500 push-up a day myth, it's a myth for a reason. Uh, most people don't think it is because, well, if you do more push-ups, then you'll get better at push-ups. That's true in some sense. If you want to increase your power, your strength, you wanna get a little bit bigger, you cannot be just doing 500 of the same push-ups every single day. Now, if you're increasing variation, it'll be a little bit easier. Caesar is not big and strong and he can't do crazy planches because he just does push-ups, regular push-ups every single day. He had to increase his variation. So when you're talking about push-ups, focus on a few different things. First of all, variation is very, very important. Increasing the resistance. We're not using weights. We're not doing bicep curls. We're not doing overhead press and bench press. We have our own body weight. So the harder you make all of these movements, the easier it will be, and we'll be going through exercises in just a few minutes. After the variation, you need to increase the volume, but not too much, not 500 push-ups a day. Now let's think about, well, if we're doing three sets of six explosive Superman push-up, pause Superman push-ups, okay, well then we're gonna do uh, three sets of six of those, and then we're gonna go into a different movement, and then a different movement. So maybe not 500, maybe 200 or 100, or maybe even 80 or 70 push-ups. And then frequency, how many times per week are you doing it? If you do it every single day, you will then be completely used to the exercises. It's it's called the gas theory. When you take a new exercise and then you start working at it, you are alarmed. First, you are alarmed. Your body is so surprised, it's just hurt, it's broken down. Then you start to get used to the actual exercise and this is where you build a lot more strength, power, and size. And then you completely are adapted to the movement and your body is no longer under stress and this is where you will not transform your body. So, that being said, the myth behind 500 push-ups a day is there, it's debunked. Don't do it every single day, focus on three times per week and then you'll be good to go. But now, let's get into some exercises that will help you get exactly where you need to be. Some of the ultimate exercises consist of the planche. If you wanna lead up to this exercise, you need to start off with specific movements that will then progress you into such advanced movements. So, first of all, we're gonna go into the actual arrow push up, but it's gonna be a little bit different of an arrow push up. We're not gonna be so much pushing up with our left arm, we are going to be pulling more, just like a chest fly with that straight arm. And as so, as he comes up, you'll see that it's completely straight, fully extended with that actual elbow. And as he goes down to the left, he's gonna come up, and he's gonna pull, pull, pull here, squeezing that chest as much as possible, and he's gonna come all the way to the other side, down, and all the way back up, making sure that his butt is completely straight, his back is completely straight, his chin is tucked, and then he'll be great and good to go. The next exercise, we're gonna be going down into a practice planche push-up or a lean push-up. So we're gonna be in a perfect push-up, okay? You can twist out or externally rotate those hands if you want, not too much, just enough, just so it takes a lot of pressure off of your actual wrist. And then as you move forward, you can see his lean, hollow body here, and now he's gonna be coming down, keeping those elbows tucked into those hips, coming all the way down, neutral spine, and coming straight up. What this is gonna do is it's going to challenge your force arm, and now it's gonna be a lot harder for your anterior delts and your chest to stabilize in that position all the way down and all the way up. Let's do one more. We're gonna be focusing on 
really tightening up that core, those glutes, and staying straight all the way through. And this will give you the exact challenge and resistance that you need for your push-up. For this next exercise, we're gonna be going into something more classic with a increased variation, and that is the clap push-up. Now, if you see his hands are about shorter width apart, he's fully extended up top, straight, hollow body all the way down, and what he's gonna be doing is coming all the way down in his push-up, pausing at the bottom, and then exploding up into that clap as high as possible. What this is gonna do is recruit much more contraction throughout the whole movement, increase the variation, and the higher you go, the more explosive you are, the better your workout will be. So make sure you're including this type of exercise into your actual workout and on to the next exercise. For this final exercise, we're gonna be going down into the archer or arrow push-up. And what we're gonna be doing is completely straight with our whole body and then our left or right, whichever arm you're going down on uh, first is going to be completely extended with that same arm that is extended externally rotating at that wrist. And then the other arm that you're gonna be going down on and focusing on that pec, you wanna make sure that wrist is completely straight and more in a neutral position, hollow body again, and coming down and just focusing on that right side. And then moving over to the left side, switching the hand position, hand placement, and then going down and focusing on keeping that chin tucked, going all the way down and all the way up, and you should 1,000% feel it more than you have been with just regular push-ups. All right, how do you feel? <laughs> Did that hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Caesar's, you know, yeah, like look how pumped he is. Like look, look yeah. at his, look at his biceps. And he didn't even work out biceps. What, yeah. what is that, dude? You're just massive. Oh, Anyways, um, Caesar does straight body weight training. He's getting more incorporated with a little bit of weights, but mainly everything that he's done has been all off of using his own weight, his own resistance to create the body that he has, the strength that he has. So you can accomplish an incredible body, you can get stronger, become more powerful with only body weight training. Now with all these different exercises, I want you to be focusing on three to five sets and anywhere from six to 10 repetitions. This is gonna be work on a hypertrophy. If you want it to be a little bit more strengthful and more powerful, then focus three to five repetitions and increase the sets a little bit more. Um, but other than that, that is the the whole myth debunked, and we provided these exercises for you so you can get the best out of it. Thanks, Caesar. I appreciate it coming out of here. He's gonna be coming in most of these videos with me. We're working together a lot. He believes in you too, so. <laughs> Anyways, again, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, the daily vlog channel is up there. <laughs> that's, that's so great. And the description is down below. It, we're like, we're like. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Comment down below if you enjoyed. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and uh, just give us a smile if you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Oh, Saturday.